This video is brought to you by WP Forms. Today I'll show you how to send email in WordPress and we'll use the Gmail SMTP server to do this. So if you're having trouble sending emails from your website, then this will fix that issue. A lot of times hosting companies, they don't properly set up the PHP or the native way that WordPress sends email. And so to fix that, we always recommend using the SMTP server or simple mail transfer protocol. It is the industry standard in sending and receiving emails and the Gmail SMTP server is one of the best ways to do that. So you'll need a couple of things. You'll want to either make sure you have a Gmail account or you can also use this using a G Suite account. If you're a business and you want to have a domain name in your email like Jane Smith at your email.com, then the G Suite account will work for that. Otherwise you can use a Gmail account, which is just Jane Smith at gmail.com. Once you have that set up, then let, then the other methods will work for either of these. First thing we want to do is let's head over to our WordPress dashboard and we need to install a plugin. Today we'll be using the WP mail SMTP plugin. So we'll go to plugins, add new, and we'll simply search for WP mail SMTP. This is the one we want. And so we'll install it. You want to stick around to make sure you activate it as well. Great. Once it's activated, we want to head over to the left hand side. We're looking for WP mail SMTP and we'll go to settings. And from here we can configure everything. Now we are using the light, but if you want a few extra help like white glove service, well, they'll do this for you. You also have access to more mailers. So if you do a lot of mailing from your website, then looking at the pro version might help out as well. We want to scroll down and from here you want to put in the from email. This is the Gmail account that I talked about or the G Suite if you're using G Suite for that. So you want to put that in there. Scrolling down, you want to use the from name and then you can also set it to return path to match the from email. That just means where if it's non-deliverable, then they'll be sent back. If unchecked, then they'll be lost and you won't even know about them. Scrolling down, these are all of the mailers that we can choose from. For this one, we're using the Gmail mailer. And then we see this information. We need to set up a client ID and a client secret. To do that, you're going to need to go to console.developers.google.com and create a project. And if you've never set up a project, then you'll probably just have a big button to say set up project. If you've created projects before, then you can click on the drop down and select new project. From here, we want to name it and then we'll create it. From here, we want to click on enable APIs and services. And we're actually searching for the mail service. So the Gmail API is what we want. So I'm going to click on that and now we can enable it. Great. Once it's enabled, we need to come over here to the right and click create credentials. So we'll have credentials to log in. The API that we're using from the dropdown, we want to do the Gmail API. Where you will be calling this API from, we want to do web browser. What will you be accessing? User data. And then let's click what credentials do I need? Name this something that you'll remember. And the authorized JavaScript origin, you want to put your web address. In the authorized redirects URI, go back to the settings are SMTP and we want to highlight this redirect URI and we want to copy this and we can go back to the credentials wizard and paste that in here. We also need to set up consent screen. So we'll open it up in a consent screen for the user type. We want external and let's click create from here. You want to name your app, do the support email that it'll go to. And then we need to publish this app. Once you've created it, we can also create OAuth client ID. And this is what we're looking for. So we want to copy the client ID credential, right click and copy, head back over, paste the client ID in our area on the settings page. And then we also want to do one more. We also need the client secret to get that. We'll click done and then we'll see the client ID name. Let's go over here and click edit. A little pencil icon. We'll edit this and we'll see client secret where we can copy the client secret and add it here. Once we paste everything, we can save settings. Once we add the client ID and the client secret, we also want to authorize it. So allow plugin to see send emails using your Google account. So we'll click on that, grant the permissions and allow. Great. Once you've done all of that, you see that you've successfully linked the current site with a Google API project. And now we can start sending emails through the SMTP server. So what you can do is go to email test 
and send a quick email test. Then once you do the test mail, you'll get something like this, that everything is set up properly. Now, method two is a little bit less secure, but you can do this as well. If you don't want to go through the process of sending it through Google SMTP, we can do other SMTP. You'll still be using your Google account to do this. So we'll click other SMTP. And from here, we want to give the details of the host information. Okay, so for host, you need smtp.gmail.com. For encryption, we want SSL. SMTP port should automatically come on here and we're good with that. Turn on authentication. Now you need to use your Gmail or your G Suite email address here. And you also need to use your, your basically your Gmail, your G Suite password. This is why it's a little bit less secure because you have to add that information in here. Then save settings. And then once you do that, you can also do an email test to make sure everything worked okay. And then once you're able to send emails from your WordPress website, the next thing you can do is set up a contact form. WP Forms makes it super easy to set things up like a contact form or a request a quote form, newsletter sign up, and so much more. To get started, just head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP beginner, and you'll get the best discount on WP Forms. And thanks for watching.